In our drive from Tunis, the ancient ruins of Al Tiberis sit upon a hill in the town of Dahmeni. Yet the tourists traveling to this former settlement of an ancient Berber kingdom are here for another hidden treasure. Artwork hangs from the walls of a natural cave filled with paintings and installations. It attracts about 5,000 visitors a year, according to the Regional Commission of Tourism in Dahmeni. The visitors are mostly Tunisian, looking to explore not just this unique art gallery, but also a famed well built around a Tunisian remake of Shakespeare's epic tragedy, Romeo and Juliet. In 1993, Ammar, a 60-year-old painter, decided to turn this 30-meter deep cave into a cultural hub in his region using his life savings. I wanted to protect my fellow artists, so I created this cave as a refuge or shelter for them, to protect them from extinction. It's an ironic expression, but it's true. The legend of Maisar and Marconda is a well-known tale in the local community, based on a sorrowful love story. It is believed to have taken place nearby this very cave, precisely at this well, which inspired a young artist to immortalize the heartfelt plight in a novel. I felt in love with the, the place, with the atmosphere. So from now three or uh, four years, I came every, most of the time in the weekend to have time with Amar and to work for hours in this place. Ammar is also working with other actors such as Saber, who is a local artist, to create a play and also a short film about Markunda and Maisar. They are filming inside the cave and aim to have the production ready in time for the fifth edition of the Sika Jazz Festival in June 2019. I wanted to document Maysar and Markonda in a play. I believe that anyone that wants to be more than an amateur artist should come here and take lessons from Ammar. With this assembly of artists, Ammar hopes to establish the ideal place for creative expression in Dahmeni, where actors and painters can create productions and other interactive projects, and one day display their work on a global stage. <laughs>